Hey guys, it's Chris here from Pi Supply. In today's unboxing video, we're going to take a look at the Digi Zero Fat for the Raspberry Pi. So this is a digital output board, so it outputs to optical or coaxial. It's obviously a, a lot smaller version than the Digi Digi Hat. Um, we've managed to shrink it down into a fat size. Um, so this is compatible with the Pi Zero, uh, Pi Zero W as well. Uh, so most of our users who are using this, um, using it with Kodi, um, and they're outputting the high definition audio to an AV amplifier for the surround sound. Um, yeah, so let's take a look and see what we've got inside. So first up, we've got some cool uh, Just Boom stickers there. Got our Just Boom logo there. We've also got a Just Boom information card. Uh, so this just has a web link. Uh, so you, if you go to the website, it has all the information there on how to get started with the Just Boom boards. Uh, we've got a card from max to play uh, which is an operating system that's compatible with our range of just boom boards uh, so there's a license code license code on the back uh, gives you a free trial 30-day trial to get started with if you want to take a look at that we've also got a little information card from rune labs um, so our just boom boards are compatible with rune labs as well uh, supported um, so this is basically just a step-by-step -step guide on how to get started, how to get set up with the Just Boom boards. Uh, there's also a 60-day trial membership as well, uh, if you wanted to try that out. Uh, so we've got the standoffs here for the, uh, the Digi Zero board. Um, we've also got a, um, an IR LED in here. So you can solder this to the Digi Zero board and this will allow you to control the Raspberry Pi using an infrared remote control. Uh, you can find, if you go to our website, justboom.co, uh, you can find our information on how to set up and install the IR LED there. So let's take a look at the main board itself. So you can see, uh, we managed to shrink it down into a fat format. Um, we basically had to get rid of the 40-way optional header that you could have soldered to the board. Um, we've still got a um, header there, P2. Uh, so this will allow you to um, connect some components to it. Um, I think we've got some GPIO pins, UART, I2C, uh, we've got the power pins on there as well. So we've got all, we've got all the available pins uh, should you need to use those. Um, it's also through, through header, so if you had um, a longer stacking header on the Pi Zero, uh, you, can, you can still use the uh, GPIO pins at the top there. Um, so this uses a Cirrus Logic chip, uh, it's a digital chip that has uh, optical output and this output is 192 kHz uh, at 32 bit and it's uh, low jitter as well um, bit perfect um, the coaxial output uh, has an isolator on it just to make sure there's no uh, no interference from the board itself uh, on, on the coaxial cable uh, it is recommended to use a short cable as possible uh, this is just to re reduce any interference on the board um, so in terms of software, um, obviously it's compatible with Raspbian. You just need to add the device tree overlay to the boot config text file. Um, if you go to justboom.co and go to the software page, you'll be able to see a full list of available software operating systems that are compatible with our Justboom boards. So now we need to just add the Digi Zero board. Um, it should just slide straight over the top of the GPO pins on the Pi Zero. 
uh, make sure you align it correctly. Uh, push it down as far as it'll go. And now we can add the remaining screws on top. Make sure they're firmly in place, but not, not too tight, or we're tightening it. And then just quickly tighten up the screws underneath. And there we have the Digi Zero board assembled onto the Pi Zero. So as you can see, it's fairly small, discreet and compact. Um, if you want to put it in a, a discrete location or you want to hide it away, then it's, uh, it's the perfect solution with the Raspberry Pi. Um, you can add it to any Raspberry Pi that has the 40-way header, so not just the Pi Zero. Um, so that's about it for this uh, video. Uh, thanks very much for watching. If you have any questions or queries, uh, you can contact us on the website at justboom.co or you can contact us via the social channels as well. Uh, so thanks very much for watching guys and until next time I'll see you then.